Hi, welcome to part 1 of the video series about physical quantities. In this video, we will do introduction to physical quantities by defining scalars and vectors. Then, we are going to identify which physical quantities are scalars and which ones are vectors. Finally, we will have a look at three multiple choice questions to see what type of questions can be asked in a CAPS aligned exams. Without any further delay, let's start to the topic. There are two types of physical quantities. Scalars are quantities which have a magnitude but no direction. Don't let word magnitude scare you. It's just a fancy way of saying a numeric value. For example, the phrase there are 20 learners in the class is self-explanatory. 20 in this phrase is a numeric value or magnitude and we don't need to specify any direction for these learners. Another example can be amount of money we have. We don't need to specify any direction to say that we have 25 rand to spend in a tuck shop. Of course, if you have buried a treasure and has a map showing its location, direction will be important, but we don't need it in a tuck shop case. Running 5 kilometers each morning is enough to express that we are trying to have a healthy style of life and we don't need to specify in which direction we are running. As a result, we can say that number of learners in a class, amount of money we have or a distance we cover each morning are scalar quantities. We can express them without mentioning any direction. On the other hand, sometimes we will not be able to express ourselves clearly without mentioning numeric value and direction together. And this is when we will use vectors to do so. Vectors are physical quantities which have both magnitude or numeric value and direction. It can be difficult to understand this definition without an example. So let's assume that the image on the screen is our house and someone has asked where our school is located. As an answer, we say it's two kilometers away from our house. Can you locate where the school is? We can measure a distance of two kilometers to locate the school. But are we sure that we have located the school correctly? What if instead of drawing line to the east, we draw it to the west? Which of these two positions is the actual position of the school? What about school being north of the house? Or maybe it is to the south. In reality, our school may be located at any point on this circle, as each of these points is 2 kilometers away from our house. As you can see, we can't define a position of an object without specifying its direction as well, which means position is a vector quantity. On the screen, we can see the most common physical quantities. Maybe we don't recognize most of them yet, but we will learn about them in the upcoming videos. We don't have to memorize them, but it will be good to do so, as they are going to appear in our exam questions. Speaking about the exam questions, Let's see what kind of questions we can expect about this topic. Question 1. Which one of the following has both magnitude and direction? A. Scalar B. Vector C. Mass D. Time This one must be quite easy to answer, as the question is the definition of a vector. So, the answer is B. Second question, which one of the following pairs of physical quantities consists of one scalar and one vector quantity? A. Mass and time B. Acceleration and displacement C. Force and weight D. Speed and velocity Mass and time in option A are both scalar quantities. As a contrast, Acceleration and displacement in option B 
are both vector quantities. Same can be said about force and weight in option C. In option D, we have speed as a scalar quantity and velocity as a vector quantity. So, D is our answer. Third and the last question. Which one of the following combinations includes two scalar and one vector quantity? A. Mass, weight and time. B. Acceleration, distance and displacement. C. Force, weight and velocity. D. Speed, velocity and momentum. In option B, acceleration and displacements are vectors and distance is a scalar. So we have two vector and one scalar quantity. In option C, all three force, weight and velocity are vectors. Option D has speed as a scalar and velocity and momentum as vector quantities. So again, we have two vector and one scalar quantity. The only option which has two scalars, mass and time, and one vector, which is weight, is option A. As you can see, it may be very useful to memorize the list of scale and vectors from the previous slide. Of course, in the future, we are going to learn more about most of these quantities, and it will become much easier to solve these kind of questions. For now, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified about upcoming videos.